now that uh, Ben George, who covers Alabama for us, uh, is safely off the line, I got to tell you, when I was asking this next question and sending out the email to everyone, and I came across best player all time, and I mm -hmm. thought about you, and I thought about your selection concerning USC football, I thought, this is a crazy list of all-time great college football players. You can go in so many different directions. Ronnie Lott, O.J. Simpson, Marcus Ooh, yeah. Allen, Charles White, and on and on and on. Anthony Munoz. You can go in all sorts of different directions. Keyshawn Johnson. Wow, this is a tough call. So, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm going to somewhat take you off the hook and say you don't necessarily need to go back as far as you need to if you just want to stay within the confines of your own lifetime or your own uh, time as a college football analyst. Uh, you can do that. Whatever you want to do with this, Nick. Like you said, I really had to think about this because there's just so many guys that you could name. Like you said, Ronnie Lott, Munoz, Junior Seau, uh, uh Lynn Swan, who's, you know, made his return. All of the Heismans uh, that uh, have won, all of the contenders. A lot of people, like, there's so many great names. A lot of people forget uh, soon-to-be NFL Hall of Famer Troy Polamalu. Mm -hmm. uh, Reggie Bush, of course, his 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 uh, his deal, they're trying to, he's sort of been pushed to the side. I mean, I think you do have to, to I think, cap it to time periods, because otherwise it's just, probably one of the most the most subjective things ever um i'm gonna say though i think the greatest of all time i think is probably marcus allen mm. uh probably but again there's so many different so many nfl hall of famers you could pick from uh fun fact about marcus allen and perhaps this is totally subjective on me and which is why i like it so much he was actually originally recruited to usc to play defensive back uh, which seems mind-boggling now. Like, what in the world were you people thinking? Uh, but, yeah, he was he was originally recruited to play defensive back. Uh, Coach John Robinson was like, well, we should probably move you to running back. He played backup running back for a while. He moved to fullback for a bit yes. and then came back and <laughs> uh, to tailback, broke a ton of records, uh, and none of it would have happened. Maybe we never know his name if John Robinson doesn't switch him uh, over to tailback. And so I think I think that gives him the edge because he wasn't a running back. He didn't, you know, he didn't really uh, come up as a running back. Uh, but to be able to switch to that and then become one of the greatest running backs in the history of the, the entire sport at any level, I think. I think that's worth something. Uh, but again, there's like 20 names you could pick and you'd be right on this one. Nick, you mentioned uh, the fullback role for Marcus Allen. And so two things come to mind. One being, if you just look at Marcus Allen, especially in his playing days, does this guy look like a fullback? He's the <laughs> furthest thing from a fullback. Look, he is a sleek athlete. He, yeah. he, he looks nothing but like athlete premier athlete he should be out in space he runs with a glide he just has athleticism oozing number two is that um in a season two years prior to his heisman winning season in 1981 usc played in the rose bowl against ohio state it was a one three matchup ohio state was number one in the country and charles white had a ridiculous game uh he he carried uh, for a zillion yards, like 247. They went on an 80-plus yard drive to win the game 17-16 over Ohio State. And lining up in the I formation in front of Charles White for most of those plays was Marcus Allen as the fullback, which is crazy to think. And then two years later, he's running for 2,300 yards himself. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a heck of a backfield, though. Marcus Allen and Charles White. I mean, come on. How do you lose a yes. game with that? With Anthony Munoz at left tackle leading the way. Yeah, not too bad. Not too <laughs>